In this video, we are going to be going through everything that you can do to fully optimize your PC without paying a single penny. So we're going to be going through everything inside Windows that you can optimize to get the highest performance possible, lowest input delay and lowest ping possible while gaming. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. The first thing that we're going to be doing is optimizing our Windows settings. So click Windows I on your keyboard to open up the settings and click on system. And the first thing we're going to be doing is clicking on notifications and making sure we turn these off. You can also turn on do not disturb just to ensure you don't get any pop-ups on your windows. Then head back to system and head on down to focus. Click on this and make sure all of these boxes are unticked. Then head back to system and scroll down to about. Then click on advanced system settings right here. This box will pop up. Click the settings on the performance box. And inside here click adjust for best performance then click custom. And the only two things you need to enable inside here are smooth edges of screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons. I like having animate windows when minimizing and maximizing enabled as well as it doesn't affect performance much and it just makes tabs look nicer when you open and close them. Once you've done that, click apply, click OK and we're going to be moving down to gaming. Inside here, you want to click on game bar and make sure game bar is turned off. Head back to gaming and click on game mode and make sure game mode is turned on just underneath game mode you'll see graphics click on this click change default graphics settings and make sure hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is turned on as you can see reduce latency and improve performance just make sure you enable this you'll need to restart your pc once you've done this but don't do that yet we'll do that at the end of the video when we've applied all of the optimizations once we've done this we're going to be heading down to apps clicking on installed apps and going through this list and uninstalling any of the apps that we don't want so scroll through it and have a look. Anything you don't need, you just click the three dots and click uninstall. So do this for every app that you don't need or don't want on your PC. Once you've done that, head on down to privacy and security. Click on recommendations and offers and make sure all of these boxes right here are turned off. And then the last thing we're going to be doing is heading over to accessibility. Clicking on visual effects and making sure all of your visual effects are turned off. Once you've done that, you can close off the window settings and those are your window settings fully optimized. The next thing we're going to be doing is making sure we have the lowest amount of delay possible on our mouse. So if you search for the mouse settings and open this up and then right here where it says additional mouse settings, click onto this, head up to pointer options and make sure you untick the box that says enhance pointer precision, then click apply and OK. And the next thing you want to do is search for the control panel, open this up, head on over to ease of access, head on over to the ease of access center. And then right here where it says make the mouse easier to use, you want to click on this click on set up mouse keys and make sure you drag that acceleration all the way down to slow. Once you've done that, same thing goes, click apply and OK. And you can exit off the control panel and the mouse settings. The next thing we're going to be doing inside Windows is clearing all of our temp files. So click Windows R and type in temp and then click enter. And you can delete all of the files inside here as they're temporary files and you don't need them. Then we're going to be doing the same thing, Windows R, but this time we're going to be typing in percent temp percent and deleting all of the things inside here as well. If this box pops up, click do this for all current items and click skip. And then the last thing we're going to be searching up in the Windows Run command is prefetch. Click enter and delete everything inside here. So the next thing we're going to be doing is clicking the Windows key and typing in temp and deleting the temporary files here. This will pop up in the Windows settings. Just click temporary files and then you can delete everything inside here that you don't want. Just select it and then you can click remove at the top. But before I go any further with the video, I want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Risen Tweaks. Risen Tweaks is a tweaking optimization service that offers all of these different packages for super cheap prices. They have tons of positive reviews and they're really easy to use. I would definitely recommend going and checking these out. And if you are purchasing them, make sure you use code Ruffy when you check out and you can save 15% off your order. The next thing we're going to be doing is optimizing our Windows boot time. So click the Windows key and search for system configuration. Head over to boot and right here where it says timeout, put this to three to five seconds and then make sure no GUI boot is ticked. And inside the advanced options, make sure you tick the number of processors, drop this menu down and select the maximum number. Once you've done that, click OK, click apply, click OK again. It might ask you to restart, but we'll do that at the end of the video. So click exit without restart. The next thing we're going to be doing is clicking Control shift escape on our keyboard to open up the task manager and inside here we're going to be heading over to startup apps and disabling all of the apps that you don't want opening when your PC boots up. 
Personally, I don't like anything opening when my PC boots up, so I have everything disabled. But say you like Discord opening when your PC turns on, you can have that enabled, but just go through and disable everything you don't want opening up. Now we're going to be using the best power plan for our PC, so if you click the Windows key and search for power and click edit power plan, click on change advanced power settings here. Right here you can drop this menu down and you can choose any power plan you have on your PC. I would recommend using the ultimate or the high performance power plan, so if you have any of these make sure you select them. Once you've done that click OK, click this up arrow and then you want to also select it inside here. Once you've done that on the left hand side here you'll see choose what the power buttons do, you want to click on this. And where it says when I press the power button, make sure you select this to shut down. Once you've done that, click save changes and you can close off the power settings. Now we're going to be getting the best network settings for our computer so we can get the lowest ping possible in game. So the first thing you want to do is search for the control panel and open this up. Head over to network and internet, click on network and sharing center at the top. And right here where it says ethernet or your Wi-Fi, you want to click on here, click properties. And the only two things you need selected inside here are Internet Protocol version 4 and Internet Protocol version 6. So anything else, just untick it on the left, click OK, then you can open back up the properties. And the next thing we're going to do is click on Internet Protocol version 4, click on to properties, click advanced, head over to Wins, and disable NetBIOS over TCP slash IP, click OK, and then right here on the bottom DNS server, we're going to be typing in the best one for our PC. And to find that out, you need to search for the command prompt and run this as an administrator. Then just type in ping 1.1.1.1 and click enter. And as you can see, you get an average MS. So mine is seven. And then you're going to do the same thing for 8.8.8.8. .8 so as we can see, the average is nine for 8.8. .8, so 1.1 works best for me. So we're going to be typing in 1.1.1.1. And then on the bottom, 1.0.0.1. If 8.8 .8 is the better option, make sure you type in 8.8.8.8 .8 and then on the bottom 8.8.4.4. Once you've done that, click OK and then on here we're going to be clicking configure, clicking yes on this box and we're going to be changing some of the settings inside here. The first thing you want to do is make sure all of these V2 for IPv4 and 6s are disabled so go through and make sure all of these are disabled. To disable them, just drop down this menu and click on disabled. Make sure all of these are disabled. Then you want to find speed and duplex and make sure this is set to the max, so either 1 or 2.5 gigabytes. And down at the bottom you'll see wake on magic packet, make sure this is disabled and, and wake on pattern match is also disabled. And then if you scroll up to the top you'll see flow control, make sure this is on artex, interrupt moderation, make sure this is enabled. And once you've done that click on power management and make sure all of these boxes are unticked. Once you've done that click ok, click close and click off the control panel. Your Wi-Fi might go out for a minute, but it will come back on and those are your network settings fully optimized. That is going to be it for this video guys. If it did help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. But thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.